everybody, how's it going? It's your man here, Caterade5, and I am back for another installment of my Let's Play Pokemon Omicron, and today, you guys, I'm happy, it's Friday, and, uh, we're gonna hopefully make it to the final, uh, place, and I just noticed I'll probably have to do mi mid-episode grinding montage, but, you know what, I'm okay with that, because I'm happy to be back, um, because, uh, last week, um, last weekend was quite, um, Saturday, uh, you know, I'll talk about it later, um, uh, but right now we're gonna go ahead and, uh, take a part of review, but before that, today's question of the day is, what's your favorite Pokemon spin-off game? Um, because for me... Uh, right now, I'm in an East Asia class, uh, at my school, and Pokemon Conquest pretty much points to China's history in almost every meaning. Like, the more I learn about China, the more questions that get answered about Pokemon Conquest. So, that's that, but, um, right here we have Draxler level 99 Tyranitar holding the Shell Bell. There's a Rock Slide, Thunder Fang, EQ, and Crunch. Next, we have Honeyer level 101, Heracross, holding the Flame Orb with Protect, Close Combat, EQ, and Mega Horn. Next, we have Ice Ice Baby, our level 102, Mammal Swine, holding the Choice Band with EQ, Rock Climb, Ice Fang, and Rock Slide. Next, we have Tit Duck, our level 101, Meg Mortar, holding the Extra Belt with Thunderbolt, Psychic, Flamethrower, and Dark Pulse. Next, we have Julio, our level 100 King Joe, holding the Scope Lens with Waterfall, Dive, Outrage, and Dragon Dance. I think... Yeah, that's our last mod. Finally, we have Fat Grass, our level 103 Delta Snorlax, holding the Leftovers with Power Whip, Belly Drum, Yawn, and Synthesis. Um... So... Now I guess I could just basically talk about... Stuff. Um, even though this is about to have story coming up. Um, alright. Hello there, are you looking to travel to Contest City? I, I... Alright! Just step onto my electrode here, I don't worry, this matter method of launching you airborne is totally safe. Three, two, one, electrode, it's explosion. Um, um, I mean, uh, <laughs> why it, it, are these like buildings floating in midair? I love the concept, but we like be a little bit more realistic. Oh, what? Oh, crap. So, basically, I pretty much left you on a cliffhanger, and I didn't even know it. So, we're back here to Constant City. Apparently, that tile activates you going back. Should probably know that. Um, there's a Sigil Hall. What's this over here, then? Three different random secret-based-looking thingies. Alright. Um, a house, a hiker, and a safari zone? I don't know what a safari zone would be doing here, but you know what? I'm not going to question it. Now I can go ahead and tell you guys just basically about what happened last week. And you, it's not an excuse. I, it's definitely not. Um, I'm, I will take all the blame for it personally. Um, but um, <clears throat> Friday, um, when I came home, my parents were already home and I couldn't record. I was going to record later, and then RP Gaming and I turned into having a Diamond and Pearl pretty much live stream, because that's the only thing we were doing. Um... Dragon and Flying Types? Hello! Just kidding. I love when people do that, but I'm not going to do that. Um... So yeah, Friday night was fun, and then Saturday I went to a wedding. Um, and... Basically, it was, I pretty much had the time of my life. Um, I'm not kidding. Um, 
Time locked temple. All right. Um, and basically, what? Oh, I bet that's a mega stone right there. Um, but basically, card. What the heck is that? Whatever. And then basically Saturday, I was just, I was really, just really lazy. Holy crap. Wow. Yo, that sprite's absolutely sick. That's awesome. And then there's that. Alright. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, so, Saturday, I was pretty much lazy all day. Um, and I know, of course, that's not an excuse. I'm... I'm gonna keep saying that. There goes the phone. I'm telling you guys, stop fan calling me. I will be right back. All right. So where was I in this story? Oh, who are you? That's a weird tile. What are you? All right. Whatever. Um. Uh. So basically, I think let's just start from Saturday. Um. Um, and, uh, I can't think. So, Saturday, I was just really lazy. I woke up really late, and I was like, all right, my sister and her, my parents usually leave pretty early Saturday morning, so I think I'm going to record, and her gymnastics, gymnastics, whatever the crap she has is canceled. Um... So I got pissed and I couldn't record then. I was hoping to get in recording later in the day. I did not uh, keep very. I had horrible uh, time management on Saturday, and basically I um. All right, box shop. Um. What? There's literally no. Audio in here. Um. Uh, uh, uh. Shut up! All right, that's that's weird. I don't even think you guys probably catch it because I have my microphone boosted all the way, anyways. So basically, me just talking like this kind of fills up the microphone bar but all right so saturday and then i was like all right um fine by me so then i decided to all right get ready for this wedding I'll just kill it since we already have another Rotom. It's level 70 though, so interesting. Alright. If a rock slide doesn't kill you, I will cut you. Um so then basically on Saturday I was ready. I was gonna go record. I know my dress clothes. So fancy. And I was like, wait, we have to leave already? And uh, yes, we had to leave. Um I feel like there's an ancient tome here. Uh but, um, but yeah, after that, um, I, I don't know where else it'd be. Um, and then pretty much, uh, we had to leave. And <coughs> I just, earlier that day, I also said, if this happens, I'm literally going to have the best time of my life there and that thing happened so i ended up i swear is that the phone no i'm hearing things all right um and that thing happened as i said i had the time of my life um and uh no um but basically my mind was consumed by that wedding the whole weekend after that and 
I said, all right, I really don't feel like recording. I knew I woke up at Sunday morning a little bit earlier than I would it, when I do usually stay up super late on Saturday. <coughs> I apologize. I don't know what's coming into me. Uh, I need to drink some more water. That's probably why. Um, but yeah, I basically just, um, that thing consumed my brain. I went to edit the video. I edit. I got Omicron up and the Wi-Fi battle up that I actually recorded on Thursday of last week. So I apologize about that. Um, I swear, if these guys, yeah. <laughs> nice tips first. All right, whatever. Um, so basically, I feel like I'm doing a bad thing right now. Come on, Wild. Level 108. Great. Great. I'm definitely gonna have to do some stuff. But, besides the facts, um, I swear, jeez, that did a lot. But, Besides the point, again, because I cannot keep my mind on there. So basically, I recorded Sunday. I did not have the time slash energy to do anything else, pretty much. And stuff happened. And I say stuff, I mean, like, emotional crap. And basically, the whole weekend as a whole, I just learned that I need to pay more attention to time. I need to... Uh, Freaking, uh, just, uh, pay more attention, be more assertive, and just, uh, do stuff better. I mean, ha take the opportunity to record while you have the chance. And I tried to, but it didn't work out. So, besides the point, um, I'm definitely gonna say this without a freaking lie. Also, my weekend went from the highest of highs to the lowest of lows. Saturday, I literally was, I felt like I was on top of the world. And when I think of that, I think of that Imagine Dragon song. And when I listen to the lyrics, that's definitely what I was feeling. And Sunday, I mean, I think I came down pretty much. I pretty much went rolling down the mountain and um, I noticed that Kater 5 you're not in paradise anymore. Get used to it. And crap started happening. So pretty much I was I had my mindset on that same thing. The whole morning of Sunday. That's why if you listen to my video on uh I don't remember what day it was. On Sunday, uh, you can just see, I'm, I, if you just listen, you can tell I am, I was out of it. And I was just lit, I just cannot stop thinking about that thing. And it definitely, you can tell, I couldn't. Um, so basically, I was, I was there, I, I don't really know how to talk about it. Uh, and then Sunday, as I said, roll down the hill Sunday afternoon a series of bad events kept on happening one at least every hour and it just it completely obliterated my emotions my attitude I just couldn't think I still had my mind in that thing and I pretty much went to school on Monday with that attitude and I was just really sad I feel like you could probably even call me depressed then just I was not in a very good attitude and I think that you guys probably would have rather had me not record than to record in that uh, state of myself so I do apologize as I said I'm gonna take full responsibility for it but just you know remember that and uh, I think I'm gonna have to do some grind so I'm gonna pause right now and if I do have to grind I will grind but if I don't have to, I'm not going to, and I'll just resume from here. So I will see you on the other side. You know, I think I really should grind, but you know what? We're going to wing it, and we're actually... You know what? I'm going to pause, and I'm going to open the page so I know, like, what they have. So I can get a good lead. So I will be, again... All right! 
hopefully there will be no more pauses in today's episode. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, I probably should grind, but I'm not going to just because I'm too lazy, and I think we can do it ourselves. I really do think so. Um, but... Yeah, I think grinding on higher level mons will be better anyway. Uh, I think Ice Ice Bay will probably run through this gym anyway. Just because it's Choice Banded Ice Fang, which is quite effective on most of the mines. <laughs> but, uh, you know what? I'm not going to bow down. I'm sure we're probably going to face obstacles in our path. Um, As we see Kingdra coming out here. Uh, I happen to have one myself, and the way I will deal with it is fat grass. I really wish I had something uh, good. Like, what takes on Kingdra? Honestly, I think Dragon's the only thing that super uh, effectively hits Kingdra. And that's from Abyssal Crush. Hello? I happen to know that's a 1 8 KO move. Blizzard, we can eat that. We have over 500 HP. Holy crap! Yo, I bet you a blessing can get higher HP than one 714 or whatever it can usually get. Uh, Dragonite is gonna be the last mon in here. Um, and uh, Ice Ice Baby's gonna clean it up hopefully. <clears throat> but yeah, I really don't know what to talk about anymore. I explained my weekend. That's pretty much what I wanted to do in this episode. Um, so yeah. How is your guys' day going? Mine's going great because it's Friday. <laughs> I am actually really happy. Um, I'm just happy because next week, uh, well, the next two weeks I have four, four days of school and I have a four day weekend this week next weekend not this weekend next weekend so that's great um and Tuesday got cut short um because of snow and I think Wednesday should have been a snow day and I definitely would have gotten an episode up for you guys but it wasn't I definitely would have gotten an Omicron up for you guys on Wednesday uh, maybe even a Wi-Fi Wednesday, because <laughs> why the heck not? But you know what? Let's do it. Let's let's just do it. All right. <clears throat> I'm, 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 all right. Constant City. Ice Ice Beat. All right. This guy actually uses normal types. Oh, by the way, did I tell you that none of Wilson's Pokemon are actually real? None of them. None of them at all. This, this is, I'm not, I'm not kidding. It's not. You will see. They will look like normal Pokemon until <laughs> you see. <clears throat> Wait a sec. Okay. Just reading this line. I thought... That I was Wilson's kid, so does this mean that you're my brother in eat law? Bruh! <laughs> He's my brother in law! Cause Wilson is technically my dad before in this game, by the way. In this game. Wilson's technically my like real dad before him and my mom Arya got divorced, and then Wilson married Miranda, eight, the 8th gym leader, and then had this kid. So does that mean that he is my brother... my stepbrother? There we, there we go. Alright. For your mom, Miranda. So yeah. His mom is Miranda. You're a little kid. You don't deserve this. Honey? Let's get burned. I don't know why, that just, that sounds horrible. But, uh, I do wanna, like, I was watching an episode of a Pokemon game and whatever. They're, just imagine, burned, like, can you imagine what, like, status inflictions actually do to you? 
like actually do like you get burned so much to a point where you have your attack cut in half that would be absolutely horrible and then imagine if you're poisoned you're literally slowly getting killed because you are poisoned and when you're par paralyzed you can't even move what's another one there's one more you're frozen you can't move because you are frozen you have hypothermia pretty much and then sleeps just sleep because yeah and apparently this thing is ours here which is definitely gonna kill oh my goodness it did not <gasps> Are we turning over a new leaf? There's no way Togekiss is going down from this. Yeah, I was gonna say. Maybe it'll be nice to us and give us something that we can survive. But I'm guessing not. God dang it. Well, uh, this might actually be the last battle of the episode. Considering that, you know... We're kind of 20-some minutes into the episode. I think that I might just grind anyways. Um, just because I can be that guy. Um, we're going to go ahead and waterfall. Air Slash, I swear if this thing flinches me to death. It, it flinched. It flinched! Really? Come on! And don't do this to me, I was going to say. I swear to God, if you do that. Bruh. One more thing, I'd like to get a, a finger on one of Willis's po Pokemon, because those things look dope. Aff. Not even kidding. <clears throat> but, we're going to go ahead and try to sweep the rest of this battle with Honey, because Honey's that kind of guy. Because we're probably going to get killed by burn and sandstorm. But, you know what? I don't care at all, pretty much. So, close combat is going to take it down. Not even bad. Uh, and our special defense and defense is going to fall. Which, I mean, obvious. I'm trying to fill in the words here. Uh, we're level 102. And x is going to be the next mon in. I swear to God, I'm literally gonna have like a heat stroke soon. I don't know why, but I am. Uh, but an I think another thing that you could expand on the um on the uh on the status effects is probably actually know what no i'm gonna save that for the next episode even though i'm probably gonna forget it oh god there goes my skype i swear to god if this thing starts banging i'm literally gonna have to pause the video that's that's only one but i am in a team chat with like 19 people so hopefully that's not the one but it probably is uh because definitely just yeah, it's the, the big one. Good good thing. I'm gonna end today's episode soon. We're gonna end it, like, perfectly around 25 minutes. Uh, cause you have one more mon left, and that's your Dunsparce, which, I mean, gonna easily outspeed and kill with a close combat. Unless we have none left. Which would be horrible. But, we do have one close combat left, and we are gonna take out the Dunsparce here. I'm not even going to look because I know it's going to get taken down. I was going to say, wait, doesn't the cry go first? But there we go. There goes the Dunsparce. And there we go. Wilson fanboy, Stuart. Is. Wow. Oh, Jeez. I'm telling you guys. Crybabies. Rant topic 101. Stupid, spoiled, rotten children. I'm just kidding, because I feel like I might have been spoiled a little bit, but I wasn't rotten about it. I. It's one thing if you're spoiled, you're kind of born into that, 
But I feel like if you're rotten about it and you think like you're the only good person, then you're a selfish, arrogant jerk. Yeah. But if you guys enjoyed today's episode, I'm going to ask you to make sure to mock punch that like button and subscribe if you guys have not. Make sure to answer today's question of the day, which is, what is your favorite Pokemon spin-off game? Of course, mine is Pokemon Conquest, but you know what, guys? I'm gonna get up out. This is Caterade 5 signing out. Thanks for watching, everybody, and have yourselves a good day.